Chapter 20, Development of the Face, Palate and Nose Question 1. The palatine processes begin to fuse at a. 6 weeks post-fertilization b. 8 weeks post-fertilization c. 10 weeks post-fertilization d. 12 weeks post-fertilization Correct answer is d. 10 weeks post-fertilization The maxillary arches develop at 6 week from which the palatine processes develop. The palatine processes elevate at 8 weeks, begin to fuse at 10 weeks and complete fusion by 12 weeks. Question 2. Complete bilateral cleft palate is due to failure of fusion of the a. Palatine processes b. Palatine and frontonasal processes c. Palatine, frontonasal and secondary nasal processes d. Palatine frontonasal, secondary nasal processes and mandibular processes. Correct answer is D. Palatine, frontonasal and secondary nasal processes. The primary palate is derived from the frontonasal process. The palatine processes forming the secondary palate arise from the maxillary processes, these must fuse with each other and the primary palate. The palatine processes must also fuse with the secondary nasal processes which are also derived from the maxillary processes. Question 3. Macrostomia results from failure of fusion of a. Maxillary and mandibular processes b. Left and right mandibular processes c. Maxillary and frontonasal processes d. Mandibular and hyoid arches Correct answer is A. Maxillary and mandibular processes Macrostomia, big mouth in Greek, occurs when fusion between the maxillary and mandibular arches does not proceed far enough, it can be unilateral or bilateral. Facial clefting due to failure of the maxillary and frontonasal processes to fuse is very rare as is a midline mandibular cleft when the two mandibular processes fail to fuse. Question 4. Palatine shelf elevation is due to the effect of a. Descent of the tongue b. Changes in flexure of the developing brain c. Hydrophilic molecules increasing turgor pressure in the palatine shelves d. A combination of these three processes Correct answer is d. A combination of these three processes Widening of the mandible allowing the tongue to drop and development of the cervical flexure in the brain are physical changes occurring around the time of palatine elevation. It has been demonstrated that these are not sufficient to explain elevation, accumulation of strongly hydrophilic gags within the palatine processes play a major role. Question 5 Which of the following structures should be visible on a dental panoramic radiograph? A. The mandibular canal b. The mandibular canal and maxillary sinus c. The mandibular canal, maxillary sinus, and hard palate d. The mandibular canal, maxillary sinus, hard palate, and zygomatic arch Correct answer is d. The mandibular canal, maxillary sinus, hard palate, and zygomatic arch All the structures listed should be visible